Hello and welcome to ComScience Simplified. In today's video we look into three important methods in the function prototype which are call bind and apply. We will learn about their usage and explore the tiny differences between them. These methods are found on the function.prototype and come in handy in situations when we want to change the binding context of a function. If you do not know what the binding context is, check out this video on our channel to understand it in detail. Let us first look into how bind works. Let us say that we have some code that looks like this. There is a person object which has a name property and a function that prints out hi along with that name. When we call the say hi function, we get hi, I'm Adam, printed out on the console. Now, let us get a local variable with the reference to the say hi function and call it. We will see that we get hi, I'm undefined printed out on the console which is kind of expected if you understand how the this binding works. It is actually because there is no variable called name in the global scope. But, what if we have an object called Bob in the global scope and we want to borrow the functionality of the say hi function from the person object and use it to print, hi I'm Bob. This is exactly the kind of use case where the bind method shines. While getting a reference to the say hi function in the global scope, we bind it to the Bob object. In other words, we set the context of that function as the Bob object. Due to this, when we call the function, hi I'm Bob is printed successfully onto the console. Mission accomplished. Let us now learn about the call method which works in a slightly different manner. In case of the earlier example, we created a reference to the say hi method in the global scope and bound its this context to Bob. But what if this is a one-off use case? What if we just want to call the say hi method once but modify its this binding only while calling it? That is the perfect scenario for using the call method. When we invoke the function in this manner by saying person.sayHi.call, we are actually executing the say hi function but with Bob as its binding object and not the person object. Notice that this is different from bind as there is no function reference that is returned. The function is directly executed. That was call. What about apply you might ask? Well, apply works exactly the same way that call works. Meaning we could replace the call method with apply in the previous example and it would work in exactly the same way. Then why does JavaScript have two methods to accomplish the same thing? Well, there is a difference and it comes into play when the function accepts arguments. Let's say that we modify the say hi function to accept two parameters, which are the names of two friends. Then, while calling it, we need to supply those two params as shown. But how do we supply these arguments while using call and apply? That is where the difference between call and apply comes into the picture. The call method accepts the params separately, after the binding object, whereas the apply method expects the params in an array as the second argument after the binding object. And that's the only difference there is. Hope you learned something new today. Press the like button if you did. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.